Hey guys, so I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot and it's been a hard time, especially in the last two days and I'm sorry about my eyes, I've been crying so much, even my dries are itchy and dry. Um, someone, <laughs> I barely even knew her, died and so it's really hard because Oddly enough, I love her. I can't say like a mother. And I was trying to reach out to her for the last two weeks and I couldn't. And I'm not going to talk about this. Wherever Miriam so is. She be in peace and my God, be with her. Anyway, so I've been trying to make more videos, especially because I see that it's important. I'm sorry. I'm also doing this to control sadness and do something productive. So, I've been trying to make these videos because uh, if, unless you live under a rock, we can see that war is breaking up again, out again in the Middle East and everyone is against Israel. You have leftist publications like Haaretz and pretty much most of the Western media. Some are actually blaming the right culprits, but most are blaming Israel for the ongoing war. And why is it important to comment on these issues? And I'm sorry, I don't have a high production value, but uh, my computer broke due to a storm and now I am on my tablet so even that I'll probably start posting videos with my cell phone and uh, commenting on them I don't know but the thing that is arguably the most annoying is how a lot of media is going against Israel for shooting Hamas television station for all those that don't know why this is such an important target for for several reasons. First, Hamas hides missiles and rockets and weapons under hospitals, schools, wherever. So it can be a military target, but the Hamas television is a vehicle of propaganda. They stage videos. They they are basically a machine geared to misrepresent Israel. And so it is very important that propaganda vehicles are destroyed. And also, a lot of those places are hideouts for weapons. So when Israel strikes a place, usually it has a strategic purpose. And um, it is important. And then you have all these media blaming Israel for the war when we can see that in the past few months, Israel has done nothing but trying peace and doing their best to appease Hamas, appease the Palestinian Authority, appease everyone and cause everything to fall into place. But the thing is, they take advantage of Israel's pacifism to get away with murder, to get away with consistently, consistently vandalizing things, destroying and endangering Israeli citizens. These people do not care about resources. They do not care about land. They're destroying their own resources. They say they have a shortage of tires. Why? 
because they burn them. They say they have a shortage of fuel. Why? Because they use it to attack Israel. They are not victims. They have a lot of luxury resorts. They have a lot of luxury. And Israel keeps on spending a lot of money in Gaza. They are not victims. The thing is, and you need to understand the reality of the Middle East, they do not want peace. They do not want their own country. They want Israel gone. They're, <laughs> if you saw their chants, they say they want Palestine free from Jordan to the sea. And they say it even in American universities. They want to destroy Israel. They want to kill Jews, and I'm sorry, my eyes are really funny. Um, they want to destroy Jews. They do not want peace. Stop whitewashing everything they say for your political agenda. Your leftist political agenda is killing not only Jews, not only Israelis, it's only also killing innocent Palestinian children. Because they kill them so they can frame Israel. They send them to the front lines to be killed so they can blame Israel. They train them as militia from a young age. You see young kids being trained with weapons. So please stop feeding their propaganda. Stop feeding their propaganda because you are killing people. Now, Israel is under heavy rocket attack and you have the media, most of it at least, going against Israel. I've, I hear the radio in my country and what freaking nonsense do they quote? Haretz, Haretz, Haretz said this, Haretz said that and it's always, always propaganda against Israel or mostly. <sighs> I swear. If I was Prime Minister of Israel, I'd really, really scratch Haaretz off the map and send them out of Israel. They do nothing but promote terrorists and endanger Israeli citizens. And I'm sorry, I'm really upset today. I am sad. Um, and uh, I'm trying not to cry because my mother gets jealous of the person that I'm crying for and I don't want to have to deal with that and so I'm distracting myself not to cry because she's jealous that I love someone as a mother respects me and really was gentle to me and I'm sorry I cannot I cannot cry in this place <sighs> anyway Thanks for watching this video and I will I know this was supposed to be a news video but I'm really emotional and it's not fair you know when there are good mothers in this world really great souls and God takes them I know it's not God it's life but You know, it's such a great soul. I was trying to convince her to make Aliyah and join. She was such a giving person. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm sorry. It's just... Today is about news. I'm not... I need to distract myself. I'm not going to cry again. Anyway, thanks for watching and... Please ignore my crying and see you in the next video. Um, I'm trying to cover the news despite my stay today. So please forgive me for everything. And bye.